G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're doing a bit of a pop roundup. It's been a bit of a good couple of weeks with uh, here in Australia with a few pops coming out. Um, one of them I thought actually was released for a London Toy Fair. This guy here, the Dawnbreaker from the uh, Dark Knights Metal series. But uh, came to Australia quickly and uh, when I saw him on the shelf I snapped him up. Uh, another one that a lot of people were pretty much losing their stuff over was the Michael Jordan. Uh, pop now I believe this guy is just the the standard there is a couple of other variants of him uh, but he was an early release I believe in the US with through Foot Locker over here in Australia you could pre-order him quickly but I think he's gonna be back out for uh, for shelf release on in about April so if you didn't get one I don't think miss out I wouldn't be going and paying the huge high prices that are there appearing on eBay as well give yourself uh, a couple of months do yourself a pre-order and you'll get him for 20 bucks here in Australia or Probably 10 bucks over there in the US. But anyway, um, let's have a look. So we'll start down the, the, the boring end. Well, it's not boring end. I love South Park. But this is uh, Mr. Garrison. Been waiting for him to come in for a while. Uh, he's a specialty series pop. But he's fantastic and will go quite nicely with the rest of the gang. I really, really do love the, uh, the Eric Cartman police cop that's in this line. So if you're a South Park fan, I really recommend picking him up. Um, there's the back there, you've got Randy and the kids, Chef and Kenny, and most importantly came Christmas time was Mr. Hanky. So here's the MJ Pop on his stand, we'll start down here so you can check him out. So he's basically going for a dunk, but the uh, the detail they put into it is fantastic. You can see there, the, there's his number, playing number, got the little bulls insignia on the shorts, he's got his Air Jordans, and I was... Never really into the Air Jordan collectibles, but I believe from reading the forums and everything, everybody's really impressed with how accurate they are to his playing days, to what he was wearing. Got a nice grip on the ball there. Got a little peg in the back. Just a, uh, not a bobble head, just a plain old head. There's his noggin. Got the eyes and the little nose. And you've got that there. So anyway, that's his Bulls jersey. So that's Michael Jordan. The next one is uh, one we've been waiting out for a while for, but this is the Batman Jim Lee uh, line. This is the Batman Hush. There's a couple of others that from the Jim Lee line they've done, I think, recently. There's been the Flash, Aquaman. I believe there's going to be a Superman and a Green Lantern come out. Uh, whether or not that's the new 52 line or other versions that Jim Lee's done, but really, really like this one. I believe there is a variant, a, uh, a black and grey one that uh, came out, I think it was a Target box exclusive, so you got the t-shirt and everything. But uh, we don't get those over here in Australia, unfortunately. And the exorbitant prices that people to command on eBay sort of put it out of my reach as well. So I ended up going just for the stock standard, out of the box, Hush variant, or the Hush version. Really do like the, the detail there on the ledge. To us here in Australia, there's Jim Lee's autograph down the bottom. To us here in Australia, it looks a little bit like a cane toad. A bit of a pest here. But uh, I really do do like that. I'll have a quick look at his box. So as I said, you've got the Jim Lee line there with his collectible. And then on the back, I believe there is a Joker version as well. But I really like where they're taking this. Great comic hush. So if you haven't read it, I highly recommend that. So that's that one. And then we move on to these ones, which is the uh, Dark Knight Metal ones. This one here, I really like the uh, the way they've done the box for the 80 years of Batman. Not a sticker this time, as you can see they've actually cut that into the cardboard. You've got the gold embossing, which is really quite a nice touch. Runs all the way through the box. And then onto the back you just have the 80 years Batman. But uh, if you haven't read this comic line, I really recommend reading the uh, Metal, DC Dark Knight Metal. It's a, a fantastic storyline. And basically each of these are sort of a uh, universal variant of Batman. And it's an impact here. So this is obviously his uh, in the storyline with Green Lantern. Batman takes over the ring and becomes Dawnbreaker. Now with this one you can do a little bit of swivel in the head. But as you can see there the, the tubes are connected. So I wouldn't be risking it too much. Or you could see them snap off and you'd be a little bit devastated there but nice little detail there you've got the green lantern sign got his little ring so really nice 
But then if there was one you were going to get, it's got to be this guy. This is the Batman Who Laughs. Fantastic storyline at the moment in the uh, comic line. I think they're up to book two of six-part series. A really, really fantastic version. And a great read if you haven't really read it. I highly recommend going and checking that one out. So you've got Dark Knights there. Batman Who Laughs. And this guy here. As soon as I knew he came out for pre-order, I, I, I jumped on it because it's a gorgeous storyline and, and a gorgeous character well done and well constructed so and the detail that they've gone into this uh, figure is is great as well so you can see the belt buckles there the hand reaching out the menacing grin but you can see how they do the bat ears and then down the back there so anyway that is my little pop haul recently really really happy with uh, what's come out i believe the toy fair london toy fair's come out i had a look at those ones that released nothing there's going to do it for me so uh but if it does for you highly recommend go check them out uh i believe they're all over the funko shop a lot of them are here in uh, australia a lot of toy shops have got them up for pre-order as well so well and truly worth checking out but anyway thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for hitting the bell to get notifications to uh to hear the uh the next video that comes along if you haven't already, I've done a video there of Thanos, the um, Artifacts Kuro uh statue. Well worth a look if you haven't seen it already. And this guy here is fantastic as well. And that is the Diamond Select PVC Thor from the Infinity War as well. So well and truly worth a look there as, uh, if you haven't already. So anyway, thanks for watching. As usual, if there's anything in the room that you haven't yet seen a review on, that I haven't got on the channel, let me know and I will uh, do my best to uh, do a review. But anyway... Thanks for watching. Cheers.